You stay big and fat. I just can't fuck with you. Two fat people cannot. Mm -mm. Mm. I have tried to fuck a fat man. Mm. It's too much motherfucking work. Both y'all fat asses laying there. He looking for your shit. You trying to find his shit. Y'all breathing and sweating. Oh, 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 you on my stomach, nigga, shit. Let's get a fish sandwich, nigga. It's not going to work. <laughs> y'all stop fucking with his fat ass. Big people, I love you, baby. Love you, shit. Fuck what you heard, baby. Big people. Look, look, look. Skinny bitches, see? Skinny bitches. They confused. See what I'm saying? Sit your asses down. <laughs> but you know what I take pride in, baby? I don't give a fuck what size you are. Just being a black ass woman, baby. I take pride in being a sister. You hear what I'm saying? Because sisters, sisters just got some special shit with them. They can't nobody fuck with it. And if you look around, every sister is gorgeous from the top of her motherfucking head to the bottom of her feet. We age so gracefully and stay so pretty. Because black women have a motto about life. Black women don't give a fuck. We 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 don't give a fuck about shit. Girl, you going to work tomorrow. Girl, fuck that job. How your kids doing? Girl, fuck them kids, shit. Fuck them kids. And you know the beauty of that? See, black men, brothers, y'all know we don't give a fuck. Y'all know there's a fine line when it comes to a black woman. Because, see, we will fuck up your livelihood. We don't give a fuck about you. We don't give a fuck. So don't bring no bullshit. Now, see, I'm going to tell you something, sisters. Now, see, there's a lot of white women in here. We can learn from our white sisters. We can learn because a white woman knows how to shut the fuck up. She knows when the argument has come to a motherfucking end, let me just be quiet. She knows that. A white bitch knows her place, not our black ass. We don't give a fuck. We will get the last word on your ass. We could be in a motherfucking coma. We're going to say our shit. Look, you bitch, don't you say nothing else. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, nigga, and your mother too now. Fuck that. The fuck are you talking to? Black women have that place. See, I'm going to tell you something. Little white couples get in an argument in the morning time, she going to apologize because she don't want to fuck with him because he got to go to work and make that paper. So she going to get him straight before he leave out of there because she want him to go to IBM and concentrate. So she going to be sorry for him. She going to say, hey, 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 Peter. <laughs> I, I just want to say that all those things I said this morning, I'm sorry, and it was my fault, and please, you know, have a wonderful day, and I love you. Bye. Not our black ass. <laughs> we don't give a fuck about James going to work, having to concentrate. Fuck that. And see, brothers, y'all have a habit of saying shit and leaving out the house like you didn't end the motherfucking conversation, like you didn't had the last word. Oh, no, nigga, it ain't over. I'm coming to your motherfucking job. Can I speak to James, please? <laughs> Black women will show that fucking ass, baby. And you know what? James ain't got fired because you done been up there six times in two days to tell that nigga what you had to say. And he sitting on the edge of the bed crying because he done lost his job. We will not apologize. We looking at that nigga like, I don't know. You should have let me say what the fuck I had to say. <laughs>